I'm at Orange Tractor Vineyards just north of Albany in WA as a guest of Regen WA and I'm with Murray Gom and he's got some fantastic ideas about how to visualise the interaction between soil and microbes and we're going to let Murray go to it. Murray, thanks very much for having us out, mate. Love, love that you're here. <laughs> so I've been trying to work out this business of growing things and it's... Oh, it's not rocket science, it's way more complex than that. I don't want to get, get stuck in one area. So we've got here the chemistry. The chemistry of the soil is really important. The geology is really important. What's my soil? Is it sand or is it clay? So I've got sand, silt and clay. Just different sized bits of crushed rock. And then there's my biology. Now I've got different shapes here. These relate to different microbes that do different jobs. And these microbes they can do pest, disease, and nutritional services. They're working with the plants. So I don't want to just get stuck in here. I don't just want to do a soil test and go, I need some more nutrients because these guys are making nutrients available. They're finding nutrients, they're capturing them, making them bioavailable to plants. Now there are nutrients everywhere. There's nutrients in here. There's nutrients in the microbes and the chemistry is, is nutrients as well. There's nutrients in the soil solution. So, if these guys turn up every day, I don't have to pay them, they're on my side, I want to do Regen, Regen Ag 101. I want to build it and I want them to come. I can introduce them, but they are doing so much important, powerful work for me. So plants and microbes have had, have had millions of years of on-the-job training. I'm actually not the farmer, it's the microbes and plants that are doing the farmer. So one of the really amazing things that fungi does, this is some fungi, and fungi is tiny, it can be one sixtieth of the diameter of a root hair, but there can be ten kilometres of that in a, in a teaspoon. So fungi, it's actually making soil aggregates, it's giving the soil structure. So what it's going to do, it's going to grow and wrap up our bits of sand, silt and clay and create an aggregate. It's going to put it together. Now the, now the fungi, it's, it's carbon, it's a thing called glomalin. The fungi might only live for days or weeks because it keeps growing, but the glomalin, the carbon, can last 50 years. So this is all about how plants and microbes can improve our soil, get carbon below the ground and increase nutrient cycling, nutrient storage, improve our cation exchange capacity, water storage. So yeah, these microbes, I really want to focus on these. So what I do want to do is, I don't want to focus on any of these in isolation. I actually really need, my target is right in the middle. If I increase the amount of carbon in my soil, if I let plants and microbes do their thing, get out of the way, they will put carbon in the soil and increase the fertility and the resilience of my, of my orchard, my veggie garden, my vineyard. So I think the key here is, is not to look for quick fixes, it's not to play a game of whack-a-mole, we need to have a holistic approach and see what's going on. Uh, in the overall system. This video is made possible by the good people at Regen WA. Don't forget to subscribe.